This is example one from the tank, chapter 17, talking about um, using the formulas for curved mirrors. Example one, an object of height one centimeter is placed six centimeters in front of a concave mirror of focal length four centimeters. Locate and describe the image. So, uh, let's write down what we know. Um, the height of the object is one centimeter. Height of the image, I don't know. Focal length is four centimeters. U object distance is six centimeters. V, I don't know. Okay, so we use the mirror formula. This is a concave mirror, which means it is converging. So the focal length is positive. Uh, let's go. Uh, 1 over f is 1 over u plus 1 over v. Put in what we know. 1 over 4 is 1 over 6 plus 1 over v. 1 over v must therefore be a quarter minus a sixth. Now, if you don't like fractions, just get your calculator out. Uh, what is it? A quarter minus a sixth. That's a twelfth. Well, if 1 over v is 1 twelfth, then v must be 12. Okay, how do we work out the height of the image? We use the magnification formula. Uh, the magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object, but it's also V over U. Height of the image, I don't know. Height of the object is 1, V is uh, 12, and U is 6, so the scale factor is 2, the magnification is 2. Let's write that separately, just so you know. Some questions ask for the magnification. And therefore, the height of the image is 2 times 1 cross multiply, which is 2 centimetres. Always finish in words. The image is. Now, this distance is positive, so that means it's a real inverted image. Real and inverted. It's um, 12 centimetres um, uh, on the same side. Actually, why don't we call that in front of 12 centimetres in front of the mirror. And the magnification was 2. The height of the image is positive, so it's inverted. We said that already. So it's 2 centimetres high. Actually, technically, that's not quite correct. Everything here is in two significant figures, so I should just be writing 12 centimetres without the point zero. Uh, 